I run the Council on Energy, Environment and Water, an independent policy research institution, which has been ranked twice in the last six years amongst the 20 best climate think tanks in the world. So my primary role is to support and guide and engage with my colleagues uh, to produce the research that highlights not just the urgency of climate change, but also develop the solutions uh, to mitigate emissions. But I also see my role in terms of developing ideas around how international negotiations can succeed on bringing countries together towards more ambitious deals to, deal, to combat climate change. I've also played a very intimate role in designing new international organizations such as the International Solar Alliance, the world's newest the government eventually, um, to again scale up the financial and technological solutions needed to combat climate change. Climate change is the most important and existential public policy challenge of our times. We have to ensure that climate change moves from an issue that has remained in the margins to an issue that we consider within the mainstream. Climate change is not just an environmental matter. It is not just a matter of carbon emissions in the atmosphere. It is not just a matter of how our oceans will respond. It is at the core of not just what humans do to the planet, but what the planet will do to humans. And most importantly, what humans will do to each other. We do not have, at currently, the systems uh, in place to anticipate and to prepare for the kinds of stresses that climate change will impose on our societies, on our economy, and the well-being of our future. Unless public policy professionals from across different domains engage with climate change, we will struggle to find solutions that are acceptable politically, that are inclusive socially, and that are viable economically. And it's for this reason that climate change has to become something that we are all concerned about. It must move from the margin to the mainstream. The first step to solve a problem is to recognize it. So when we think of, when we look at the mirror and we see who are we to become the change agents to solve for climate change, we have to ask what is it that we don't have? What are the skills we don't have? What are the experiences we don't have? What are the networks we don't have? And I think creating a fellowship on climate action and climate leadership is critical to create that army of people that will engage on the public policy, on the market, on the finance, on the technology side of combating this grave crisis. Through the fellowship, I believe that the fellows will learn not just what the problems are, but what are the existing solutions that need to be scaled up? What are the solutions that are sort of at a conceptual or at an early stage that need some support to take them forward to get to scale? What are the ways in which technological solutions run up against uh, the real world of lack of finance or working capital or the lack of appropriate business models and solve for those challenges? And eventually, consider the political economy of a just transition away from a fossil fuel based economy to a much more sustainable economy, uh, which is uh, socially um, inclusive and politically acceptable. So a climate action fellowship would, would provide this gamut of experiences that would prepare us to at least um, hold that mirror to ourselves and say we are now more improved change agents to combat this great crisis.